In this video, we're going to discuss three ways to allocate the costs of multiple support departments when those support departments are providing services to each other. So let's take a company that has two operating divisions. They manufacture roller skates in one division and ice skates in the other. Now let's say that this company also has two support departments that provide services to the roller skate and ice skate divisions. They've got an HR department that has $30,000 in costs, and then they have an administrative staff division that has $40,000 in costs. Now here's the catch. The HR department and the admin staff departments provide services to each other as well as providing services to these different departments. So the question is, how do we allocate the $30,000 in costs with HR and the $40,000 in costs with the admin staff? How do we account for the fact that they help each other? And there's three different ways that you can do that. And the easiest way is called the direct method. So with the direct method, what we're basically going to do is we're just not going to allocate any of these inter-support departmental costs, right? We're just going to completely ignore them and we're not going to allocate them at all. So let's just let's just work through an example. So let's say that the HR department, we took a good hard long look and there, here are how the, the breakdown of the hours or how the HR employees spend their time. So 12,000 of their hours are spent on the roller skate division. 4,000 is on the ice skate division and 4,000 is on the admin division. So because the admin is another support department, we're just going to ignore it altogether. We're just going to ignore it. And what we're instead going to focus on is the number of hours for the roller skate and ice skate divisions. So we can say, okay, if we add these two together, that's 16,000 hours, right? 16,000 hours. And so when we figure out how much of the 30,000 in HR costs we're going to allocate, We'll just take 12 out of 16 and multiply it by 30,000, right? 12 out of 16, 12,000 out of 16,000 hours. And that's how we're going to decide how much of the, the HR gets allocated to the roller skate division. We're just ignoring the fact, we're completely ignoring the fact that some of the hours for the HR are actually performed for the admin staff department. And when we get to the admin staff department to allocate their 40,000 in costs, we see that the HR department it constitutes 10,000 out of 40,000 hours, but we're just going to ignore that and do the exact same thing, right? So we're just not going to allocate any of these costs that are going between the support departments. And again, that's that's called the direct method, and a lot of companies like it because it's it's the easiest way to do it, right? Now, we could say, well, what if we could allocate some of these to these support costs that are going between departments, right? And so to allocate some, we can use something called the step down method, right? And this is another popular method. With the step down, what we're going to do is sequentially rank the support departments, right? So for example, we could say, okay, we're going to rank the uh, human resources will rank that number one and the admin staff will be ranked number two. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to allocate all of these costs. So now before we kind of ignored the administrative staff 4,000 hours. Now we're not going to do that. This time around, we're going to say, okay, 12, let's see, if we add all this up together, that's 20,000 in hours. So now it's going to be 12 out of 20 times 30,000 will be the roller skates, etc. And then we're going to go down and the administrative division is going to get allocated 4 20ths of that 30,000 in HR costs. That's going to get allocated over to the admin staff division. And that's actually going to increase. They've got 40,000 in costs, but then they're going to get 4 20ths of that 30,000 added to it, right? But then when we're allocating the cost, so now we go, we, we started with the HR because it was ranked number one. Now we go to rank number two to allocate the admin staff costs. But when we do that, we don't allocate any of the HR, any of the costs back to HR. We just strictly look at, okay, roller skates and ice skates, whatever the 40,000 plus four twentieths of 30,000. We just split that between roller skates and ice skates. We just ignore human resources. Because like when you go down a sequence, as you go down further in the sequence, you never allocate back to previous uh, firms that you are departments that you've already allocated the costs out of, right? So now what we're basically doing is we're allocating some of the costs to, we're going this way, we're allocating some costs of HR to admin staff 
but we're not allocating anything from admin staff back to HR, right? So we're not doing that. And so because of that, because of that, because we're only considering that, hey, look, admin staff took up 4,000 hours, but we're not considering that, hey, HR took up 10,000 hours of admin staff. We're not allocating all the costs. We're only allocating some. And so that's kind of a drawback to the step down methods, a little better than direct, but it's, it's still not perfect. But the third way we could do things is we could allocate all of the costs, right? And so there's a method called the reciprocal method. And what the reciprocal method is, basically we do this kind of back and forth thing where we say, okay, well, we're gonna allocate all the costs here. We're gonna allocate, so we start with HR, for example. It doesn't matter which one you start with, but let's say we start with HR. We're gonna allocate to roller skates. We're gonna allocate to ice skates. Then we're gonna allocate to administrative, the costs. And then when we've done that, having done that, now we go to administrative, and now we're gonna allocate back to roller skates, to ice skates, and then back to HR different from step down. Now we're gonna allocate some back to HR. But now because we've allocated back to HR, HR, we, we instead of it being zero after we initially allocated it all, now it's gonna be higher than zero because we just allocated some back. And then so now we do the process again.